Our serving size is totally wrong. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Where were you on the day you found out that a package of ramen noodles was two servings? How did it make you Here, feel? Right now. Oh, well, welcome. I don't feel welcome great to the about present. that. Yeah. Did you feel betrayal? I felt a little betrayal. Well, that's what I felt. Yeah. We're in this together. I've caught up. Everyone's personal opinion on the <laughs> correct food portion size is good and valid. But not according to the FDA. Mm -hmm. We learned a lot in our previous episode about the FDA's serving size assessments. And hey, once again, we're serving them a challenge. It's time for These Snacks Are Still Serving Sizes. Gentlemen, before we begin, a reminder from last time that the FDA dictates serving sizes on the nutrition facts labels to reflect what the average person eats in one sitting, yes. or so they say. Mm -hmm. It's different from portion sizes, which is the amount nutritionists recommend you eat. With that in mind, we're mm -hmm. kicking things off with Twizzlers. So how many Twizzlers do you think the FDA says is one serving? And then also show us what your own serving of Twizzlers would be. And I'll just do to, it. Twizzler fight. Just to let you know what's on the line, whoever loses today's game will be served some legal papers in Good Mythical More. Uh, this is never gonna end. I think you could go on forever in a Twizzler fight. Twizzlers are- Save well, it for a rainy day. Mostly eaten in theaters. movie theaters. And then you're, you're, you're grabbing the whole pack. And then the expectation- Oh my gosh. Is that- Put them all in your mouth. You're just gonna, whatever you buy at the, Theater, you're going to eat in the sitting. This is kind of that amount. And then, but there's no way that FDA says that you would have them all. So I, th I think there's that many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in a package. Okay. And I bet you there's, I bet you the FDA is saying you'd eat, you'd eat half of them at the theater. That seems reasonable to me. Okay. Now, how many would I eat? Well, once I eat one, I'm like, man, is that, is that, how does your body even digest this stuff? It doesn't, I it goes get, right through. I would get in my head and I'd be like, I don't know if I wanna like keep putting ropes down in there and then I would just eat one. If all you do is eat Twizzlers, if you fast for a couple of days and you only eat Twizzlers, you will make a Twizzler. Right. And it will have a little screw screw on it. So what, did you, what have you done? Well, I'm a licorice fan. I'm not a Twizzler fan, so. I love the fact that you felt the need to be really. These aren't licorice. Clear about they that. They say licorice on them? They're not licorice. Licorice is black licorice that tastes like the licorice root. Are this you, is imposter. Are you so, running for like licorice office? Well, I'm thinking about it as soon as it opens up. So I'm only gonna eat one. I'm, I'm in the same boat with Link. Like I'm not much of a, I'm not much of a fake licorice guy. Uh, I don't know if I've ever seen, like you're telling me if Shepard gets Twizzlers, and they're next to you. She ain't buying it, right? That you're only eating one? Yeah. Because that, that might be like the only food that you've it's done also, that with. It's a it's a big food, like that's. I ain't buying it either, Stevie. How many inches he, is that? He's, hmm. he's aspirationally answering. That's eight inches. <laughs> you know what? My uh, sweater is Twizzler colored. Are you running for Twizzler office? Yeah, if it opens up. Uh, I think the FDA serving is two Twizzlers. I just think they're like, hey, okay, slow your pace. No, nope. two Twizzlers. Okay, we have two, we have five. The answer is three. Huh. So, Rhett, you're closer. Yes. You get the point. Let's see if the, uh, yeah. yeah. Two's closer to two, three. three. Two's closer to three than five. Yeah, yeah, five. yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, if you're running for Twizzler office, you gotta know these things. I know, you're gonna get, I don't, I don't think hey, you you're gonna be a part of the debate. You're gonna be on the debate I stage and you're gonna completely implode. That three needs to be closer to five than two and that the serving size should be five and not three. Vote for me. Uh, you're not getting my vote. Moving on to DiGiorno Rising Crust Pepperoni Pizza and I'm looking for some fraction answers on this one. Oh, oh you are? And so even more math. All right, so. Oh, you're, no, 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 no. You're don't slicing. look, don't look. Got, I was just seeing if you were I, slicing. I, oh, what, what, do you, what, what do you think I'm doing? What, what do you think? Oh, I'm just over here moving my hand back and forth and you can't see You can't see what I'm doing. Well, what other things could I be doing? I was just wondering huh? what. 
why are you cutting it all? Because isn't what you would eat the whole pizza as well? Yeah, I'm but sure. I'm making a guess according to the FDA. Okay. Thank you for letting me use this. It's kind of like a knife, but it's circular. All right, so here's two halves. I feel like, you know, I do feel like I would eat. Here's two halves. I feel like I would eat a half. I feel like I would eat a half, and then I feel like, I bet you this is not how they would slice it, but I bet you right there, I bet you that theirs is a quarter. Man. DiGiorno, it's right. good. It doesn't taste like delivery, it just tastes like DiGiorno, but you shouldn't be ashamed of that. I like it for what it is, mm. not what it's trying to compete with. Now, right, Rhett, are you answer. taking a tasting break in the middle of your answer, or is is your answer on the board right What now? are we doing? Rising <laughs> Crush. Um, We're running okay. for office of DiGiorno. All right, so, I've only got one pizza to do this with, and that's not enough to make my guess. So, when I get a pizza this size, I eat the whole thing every time. This is like the size of pizza you get when you go to one of those places where you make your own pizza. Yeah, but it's so much taller. Um, so I'm eating the whole thing, I'm just gonna be honest with you. It's hard for me to stop when it comes to pizza. But I actually think that the FDA serving is a third of the pizza. Basically what I'm working on right here. For me, I'll eat a half. I think theirs is a quarter, which I bet you they'd call that two slices, which I'll do. Well, I was looking for a fraction, so a quarter is a good fraction, but yes. Okay. Yep, there we go, there we go, there mm. we go, but it's two slices. The roni's so, good. The FDA says that a serving size of this pizza is one-sixth. Yeah. What? One-sixth? So you can split this with five of your friends. You and five of your friends, you you bring this to a party, mm -mm. a six person party and they're like, guys, we each get one slice. And it's like, who brought DiGiorno to the party? You're losing you, those friends. You're losing those friends. But Link, you are closer. I, I don't closer, know if you knew that. Okay. I'm not proud of it. All right. How much would you eat, Stevie? Um, I feel as if two slices is appropriate and the slices work out to maybe a little bit less than half. You know, two big slices. So one six is crazy. We're, we're all in agreement. FDA, f forget that assessment. Oh! <laughs> uh, we've been told that Trevor has something that he wants to share, so. Seems like perfect opportunity. Um, hi guys. Hey. So I just wanted to say to all of you out there that I know you're already thinking about what you're gonna watch next. Aren't you guys thinking about what you're gonna watch next? Yep. And I'm here to tell you guys and all of them out there that you're gonna go to the Mythical Kitchen channel and you're gonna check out the Last Meals playlist because we've had so many incredible guests and Josh has done True. so many incredible videos and interviews. And uh, yeah, it's really cool and we're really proud of it. So you should go check it out. And I just wanna tell you guys that you're my perfect serving size of fun. So. Oh, there we go. Wow. Bury the lead. Turbo. <laughs> Thanks, Trevor. Okay. Nuggets, real sweet. Tyson chicken nuggets. I agree. I, uh, Last meal is a great, great series. I think actually a, a more interesting question mm. when it comes to nugs, it was sort of like a sub question you might say, is Ow. what's the serving size of a bite of a nug? Because I think it's a nug. Oh, no. Half a bite. Not a full nug. They're perfectly mouth sized and I have a small mouth. I mean, look at that. Why are you just gonna stop short when you can just? You get half the amount of sauce if you do it in one bite though. Two bites, That's right. you get twice as much sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, have you seen me sauce a nugget? <laughs> Surprisingly, no. I, well, probably, yeah. <laughs> probably. Probably like Four, 10 six, times. Seven. Okay. Mm. I mean, am, I'm hungry. I'm reaching for a handful. How many am I gonna get? Am I eating anything else besides nuggets or am I just eating nuggets? And you know? You know? I've already had two. I like to think in terms of like. I'm definitely gonna eat more than that. How many come in like a McDonald's thing? A 20 -piece. And I'm not letting the plate sway me too much, but I know I eat more than the serving size. There's just no way. That that's the case. I bet you, 
Yep, that's what I think. Mm hmm. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. That's kind of weird. Do I eat an odd number of nuggets? Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. That's a lot of nuggets. I love a big bowl of nuggets. Yeah, I like seeing a bunch of people at a party just reaching in with their hands and pulling out nuggets. I am saying that the FDA serving size is six. I'm saying that the FDA serving size is four, and I'm saying that my serving size is four times that, 16. I've already had four while we've been sitting here. Yeah. All right, my serving size is 11. Maybe, the maybe FDA serving size is five. Oh, we tied! Right in the middle. Odd number. Very weird. Well, five nuggets. So you're That's more reasonable than a sixth of a pizza. It is more reasonable, but it's just not enough, y'all. It's not enough, FDA. You have a you side, know? though? Yeah. Because I'm, I'm thinking I'm only doing nuggets. I'm not even drinking anything. You know what I'm saying? This is a nugs only meal. That's the mind frame that I'm in. So then you're reducing your answer. All the, the moisture that I'm getting is just coming from it's nugget moisture. <laughs> you know, I'm not drinking for another three hours. Have you drank lately? Well, I had some nugget juice. That's healthy. <laughs> All right, but we're not as angry at FDA no. this time around. Yeah, yeah. We forgive that assessment. <laughs> The tie is scored, yes. and it all comes down to this. Man, and so this glad. isn't just any Ben & Jerry's ice cream I know. flavor. It's the winner of Gut Check, Peanut Butter World. Best ice cream flavor. I haven't had, the, this is hard to get a hold of. That ben or Jerry has Exclusive. To offer. All right, so I'm gonna throw into this bowl what I would eat, which I already know is half of this. Well, do you eat like, directly from the thing? And I eat directly from the thing, and that's that's the tr that that's danger. It's hard. So really, I hit a ribbon. The thing you want to do is, you really want to. It's like striking gold. You really want to dip it out and put it away, when it's just open, so that you're not in a, a, a situation where you're negotiating with yourself. Just like, well, you know, there's only there's only half left. I might might as well go ahead. And, Why is it so hard? I might as well go ahead and eat it. Well, I'm on team half of the pint for sure, Link. And then, um, but if I grab that for pint, myself, boy, I'm just gonna keep going for it. So, and, that's the, what and I, also the top is wider than the bottom, so you have to kind of take that into account. Oh, I, I don't. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you're, you're actually eating a little bit more than half in your first. I think that's actually exactly mm -hmm. half. That's like a, this makes a bowl of ice cream. You know what I'm saying? Like that's how much ice cream you should be eating. I'm gonna put the minimum amount in this bowl that I think is even an acceptable amount to not just be frustrating. Listen, the RDA, <laughs> the Rhett Dietary Association says that you should be eating a bowl of ice cream. Listen, if you're gonna eat it, eat it. Make it worth it. If you're gonna eat it, eat it. You know what I'm saying? If you're gonna Don't be nibbling on some ice cream. If you're gonna get in the car, go to town. <laughs> Okay, for your FDA servings, you have little like cup measuring things on the side. So let's see. Yep. So I'm gonna do this. How much good, that translates? One to, to this. You. Such a good ice cream. Oh. And then I now, guess Rhett, I, we are playing a game. I have uh, to mush it down. Okay. To know how much it is. So I'm saying that this right here is four ounces. Four ounces. Well, that is sad. Let me yeah. let me know in cups where you're at. Cups, half, half a cup. Okay. Half a cup, Stevie. Mm -hmm. Let me find a ribbon. There's a ribbon in the sky for your love. There's a ribbon in my mouth for your love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, it's a peanut butter ribbon. Who are you talking to, Stevie Wonder? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna mush it down so I can do a scientific measurement for the FDA. Hmm. What's in this again? Milk chocolate ice cream with peanut butter, uh, buttery swirls. Okay. And chocolate cookie swirls. My answer is a half a cup. Okay, well, the, the score, the tie, 
is scored. And I answered and you that both first. are guessing half a cup. So now oh. you have to change your answer. Oh, crap. Well, that's what I put in there is exactly a half a cup. You have to put more. <laughs> okay. My answer is half a cup, but I'm going to go to five. I'm going to go to five ounces because I've been well, forced there. Cups? She needs in cups, man. Come on. Five sixteenths of a cup. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a. Uh, just look on. It would be it five say. eighths of a cup. I'm just gonna eat this. Right. So you're you're you're. Four ounces. So one cup is eight ounces. So I'm saying five ounces. So I guess I'll be forced. You know what? Well, you weren't quick enough. I'm gonna go down because FDA is a little bit weird. I'm gonna go down to a third of a cup. I'm going down. Okay, that is a fraction I can accept. <laughs> the answer is two thirds of a cup. Oh, I should have gone up. <laughs> well, thanks, FDA. You, you know what? I didn't believe in you, but technically, I have more than a half of a cup in here. That's what well, I told in you. good mythical more, you're going to have more legal papers because mm. that's what you get as the loser of this game. Okay, I'm just happy I'm eating. <laughs> FDA, get with the program. You need to forget that. Uh, always. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. My name's Olivia. This is Ladybug. We're from Salt Lake City, Utah. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> What the, mm -hmm. what the yeah. crap, Olivia? I was about to compliment your cat. Ladybug. Click the top link to watch us guess the pun created with celebrity cat hybrids oh. in Good Mythical More. And if I know where the mythicality is gonna land. Can you just tell the people really quickly where you came from before this? I came directly from a colonoscopy procedure.